Passing the Flats with host Henry Waschuk and Billy Clyde is brought to you in part by Andros Boatworks, built for those that demand quality. Butcher's Best by Mark Angelo Foods. Mirror Lure, turn on the bite anytime. Tie on a Mirror Lure. Oh Hero, fishing products you can count on. Oh, hey, oh nice! No. Look at that. Look at the size of this fish. Man, oh man, am I excited. We got three great adventures for you this week. Hi, I'm Henry Waschuk. Welcome to another episode of Fish in the Flats. We're gonna start off with gag grouper. Now I'm talking big boys, I really fight tough. And we're gonna be on the southwest side of Florida for those babies. And then we're off to Mexico for those incredible rooster fish. Gorgeous, big, and strong. And then we finish off with a little finesse fishing in shallow water with our Jackson kayak. Stay tuned, it's gonna be great. Don't let them go down, no more. Come on, big old, big old gas. Beauty. Yeah, we need to pick up line, oh my goodness. Oh, you just saw the boat. Oh, look at this monster. He's long and lean. Today we're making red fish basket with a coconut Thai sauce. That's just perfect. Coming up, tough battling gags. <laughs> oh, oh God, look at this double, double. Get him up, get him up, that's a big one. This segment of Fishing the Flats is brought to you in part by Baker Hookout Tools. We start off this week's first adventure on the west side of Florida for some shallow water grouper. Not far from Longboat Key, we anchor on a spot that should deliver us some angling fun. It's easy to get these fish fired up on chum behind the boat, and we'll tell you, there'll be some grunting and groaning to pull these guys out of their homes. But that's just half the fun and half the battle. So what you like here is just, just feather out the line still? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, these fish in close, they get a lot of pressure, a lot more so than the fish offshore. So you start using big heavy weights, they kind of shy away from it. Right. I found free lining, uh, free lining these baits and just leaving an open spool until they get to the bottom is a really effective way because not a lot of people do it. And last time we were out here, I mean, we caught 10, 15, you know, real, real nice big gags. Beauty. There's some big live grouper. Good job. Oh, he's off the bottom at least. All right, Oh, Billy. that's a good one. All Come right. Come on, big girl. Okay. Here, just move to the left a bit. Right. I'm going to set mine in the rod holder. Yeah, you'll get one right now if you just leave your bail open. Yeah. Or... Well, I'm not going to leave it open. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, God, look at this double, double. Get him up, get him up. That's a big one. He's got you in the rock. Get him up, Henry. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this gag I got. Oh, he just spit it out right there. <laughs> oh my gosh, Henry, get that one up. Get him up. Get him up, yeah, He's up, he's up. Oh man. I just had a 28 incher right there. I saw that was a good fish. <laughs> this is awesome. How many double headers now? We've got it going here. Yeah. Just throw a little bit more chum up I there. I did, yep. Yeah, good job. Look at him, he had you down there in the rocks. See how they flare their gills out? Oh. Yep. And they get all scratched up and stuff. Either that or a Goliath grouper tried to whack them. I, I'll tell you what, that looks like another fish hit It does kind of look like a Goliath got him, huh? Look. There's some big ones down there. If we could catch something to yeah. drop down for bait, I'm telling you, we could. Yeah. Uh, look at that. That's hard to tell. It's all beat up. Yeah. Now it kind of looks like something grabbed him up here, you know? Yeah. Big well, old Goliath grouper down there. I got there. the Goliath grouper stick. Uh, <laughs> unless you got something this big for bait, you know? <laughs> no, let that baby go. All right. They are so pretty taking off in this water. 
Bank's Tip of the Week is brought to you by Cargo Bed. Roll your world inside out. You know, when you fish gag group or any kind of group or overstructure, it doesn't matter whether it's 30 feet or 130 feet, man, you got to have the right tackle. You need stout rods, heavy rods to pull these fish up because when they make a strike, you don't want them to go down in any kind of wreck or structure. So you got to have good stout rods and good quality line. I use the O'Hero braid line for the main line in here. They've got a variety of colors, and I'll tell you what, it's tough line, and it's a really good quality stuff. Same with your fluorocarbon leader. Don't skimp. You know, you want to go at least 50 pound. You might want to even go up to 80 to 100 pound leader, depending on how big your fish are. And as far as hooks, inline circle hooks are best. You don't have to go oversized. You know, I basically like to go to an eight aught, perfect size. You know, it's, it's offset a bit here. And I tell you, the other thing is your lead weight that you're using, I'm just using bullet weights. But when you get out there, depending on the tide and everything else, you got to make sure you have a variety of weights because you don't want anything too heavy because you're going to get hung up. Now, when you're free lining, that's a totally different thing. And that's what we had a lot of success with. That's a big technique. When you're free lining, basically all you're doing is dropping your line down like this, opening up your bail, which is really interesting because you're feathering line out with the bait. And when you're doing that, and when that line tightens up, you've got to end up slamming that lever down tight, and then you've got to crank as hard as you can to get that fish up. So whether you use spinning line or regular, you know, bait casting systems or conventional reels, the other thing is, <laughs> when you bring those fish up, make sure you have good quality gloves. AFCO makes it all. Do those things, and you'll catch yourself a big grouper. You know what's crazy? This is a public number, Henry. You know, yeah. this is a number that anybody can come out here I mean, buy a local chart in any bait shop, and this yeah. number is right here. All you yeah. got to do is catch yourself the right bait. Yeah. Amazing. Real, 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 real. Get him up, get him up, get him up. That's a big one. Get him up, Henry. Get him up. Don't let him go down. No more. Are you kidding? Come on, baby. Real, 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 baby. Real, baby. <laughs> Come on with it! Oh man! Oh yeah, that's a big girl. That's a big girl. Get her up. Get her up. Keep her up. Keep her out of that bottom. Oh, yeah, yes! Yes! Oh, you wow, did it! Put a pull <laughs> <laughs> I am loving life right now. Listening right. to you grunt like oh. that is. Oh, how about a double? How about a double? All right. How about that? All right, baby. Yeah! Now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> Oh, oh my look. gosh, look at the size of your gag, look, Henry. Look at this one Oh, here. mine just popped off right there, look at that. Oh my gosh, Henry, that's, that's a big a one. That's a beautiful fish. That's a big dog. Look at this one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, <laughs> man. My goodness. Oh, God, it's that, what a see, giant, this. man. <laughs> Tell you look what. Look at that. See, now we just upgraded from grouper sandwich to <laughs> yeah. Fit. Family event. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right, let's get the hook out. All right. That was All right, easy. Perfect. Got it. All right. Oh, yeah, that is a slabber. Look at the size of this fish. And I mean, how about a fight, too? Oh, I mean, huh. anything less, any tackle less than smaller than what we're yeah. using, and you, you wouldn't stand a chance. Beauty. All right, let's get it back. All right. Yeah, these guys normally don't take much convincing. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, real oh, screaming know. drags in Mexico. This fish would be pretty amazing, but this is it's going, it's going into the rocks. segment of Fishing the Flats is brought to you in part by Wild River, the next generation of tackle bags. Our second adventure this week takes us to the waters of Banderas Bay, Mexico. The Marietas Islands in the center of the bay have great reefs and underwater structures that are magnets to fish all year long. One thing about fishing here, you never really know what you're going to catch next using topwater plugs. Could be the horsehide jack an African pompano, a Jack Crevel, or a surprise catch just like this ombre of the sea. Got 
got something on I don't know. Small. Oh, we got rooster. What look you at got, Henry? Okay, come on, look at it. All right, they got him over. Rooster, oh man, oh man. Look on light tackle. This rooster just came out of nowhere. I was just catching some bait. <laughs> and I got a little blue runner on. Oh my goodness, this is a big rooster. Yeah, we need to pick up line. Oh my wow, goodness. Did get you? You got one? Yeah, I tell you, I thought we had another needlefish on, but what happens is I was just got a small fish just hit behind it, and then I was bringing it in on light tackle to get some bait for yes. us, and the rooster just came out of nowhere. And he's a big fish. Really? On this light tackle. I saw the little fish on your line. You're yeah. saying that that got off and the rooster got on? No, no, it took it. And then it missed it the first time, and then I got it again. Oh my goodness. It's going, in, it's going into the rocks. Right into the rocks. So oh, come on now. He's just running that shoreline the whole way down. I have a feeling. How big is it, do you think? 50? Really? 40, 40, 50 pounds. I don't know. It's, he came so fast and took it. And the, and the rooster has those gorgeous fins. Well, you got him away from the shore. You got to yeah. increase your chances. Well, I see a little color there. See he's it? just rolling around a bit. Oh, he's coming up. I see him. Come on up. Oh, I see him. Check him out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. Oh, I guess he uh, he just he just saw the boat. I don't even know how he's hooked after taking that bait that I had on the. Yeah, let's see. Maybe you catch two fish with one. <laughs> well, I think I did because he ate one. <laughs> Come on up to the top. Oh my goodness. Come on. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Aren't you tired yet? Okay. We can't gas these ones, so we're gonna have to grab it from the tail. Okay, Ian. Good job, Sebastian. Whoa. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Way Henry. to go, baby. Good job. Nice, huh? All right. Wow. Look, look at this guy. That's a beautiful fish. Look at these rooster. Dorsal man, oh man. Oh, look at that. Excellent. This week's resort feature is brought to you by the top selling Fish and Guy app. The St. Regis Punta Mita is not your typical resort. There are no high rise buildings here, just a secluded, breathtaking beachfront location. The guest rooms and suites are housed in 32 casitas, more indigenous to Provence than Mexico. The atmosphere is one of casual elegance. The resort is a tiny village with luxury accommodations, fine dining, outdoor activities, and gorgeous beaches set on a small slice of paradise, where getting away from it all means exactly that. St. Regis Punta Mita Resort is a seductive, exclusive getaway located in one of Mexico's most beautiful regions. Oh Coming up, goodness, skinny water is kayak beautiful. fishing. Is that a beauty trout or what? This segment of Fishing the Flats is brought to you in part by Rockport Rattler Jig, the dinner bell for fish. We finish off this week's travel adventures back in our home waters of Southwest Florida. The wintertime cooler waters force fish into the grass flats and sand holes where the waters warm up with the afternoon sun. And if you really want to stock fish in skinny water and have success, there's nothing like fishing out of a kayak. Let's see how Henry does paddling these beautiful flats of Florida. Oh 
boil. Come on. I know you're there, buddy. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at the head shake. Man. Mr. Mirror Lure, you did it again. Oh, my goodness. This guy is beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Quiet in a kayak, and you get these beautiful fish. Oh, that is fantastic. Is that something else or what? Wow, wow, wow. Still fighting. Look at this. <laughs> He's got that mirror lure right in the side. Here, let me see if I can grab this one. Away. Come on, baby. There you go. <laughs> well, you see this guy. Oh, look at that. Is that a beauty trout or what? He's long and lean. My goodness. Let's see if I can get this hook out. Hang on, buddy. What a fish. I tell people, you know, a lot of people wade, but you know, you got to walk long distances, you know, and you have yourself a, a kayak. You can pretty well go anywhere. I'm sorry, buddy, I'm gonna let you go. Okay. Well, there's a beauty trout any day of the week. All right. I'll revive him a bit here with my Baker grip. All right. Come on, buddy. Yes, there you go. All right, you wanna go? Time? All right. Come on, let go. And there he is. This week's recipe is brought to you by Primo Grills and Smokers, the total culinary experience. Hi, I'm Steve Adams for Fishing the Flats. Today we're making red fish basket with a coconut Thai sauce. I've got my Primo grill up at about 350 degrees. We're going to be cooking direct. Got my red fish and it's skin off. And I've got a nice surprise for you in the end. What I'm going to do to start off here is I'm going to lime and salt the red fish. It's kind of a Caribbean trick. We don't want to have this on too long, only for, oh, under 15 minutes. We don't want to cook the fish. I'm going to hit both sides with the lime. Puts a wonderful taste into it. If you put too much lime on and leave it too long, it'll turn the fish gray. A Little bit of salt on both sides. We're gonna let that sit for about 15 minutes. Our Primo's good and hot. We're at 350 degrees. We'll take our basket. You've seen baskets like this. They're really good for grilling on any barbecue whatsoever, uh, over open flames or whatever. And uh, I'm going to take some organic coconut oil to add that coconut flavor. That's good looking redfish. And now I'm gonna lay this out like this. And this one, just like that. I'll put the top on, squish it down, not too hard. This is kind of thick on this side, so it'll cook differently, but. So we're gonna go on 350 degrees over direct heat. And we'll come back and we'll check it in a few minutes. Okay, let's see if it's time to flip the fish. The temperature's looking good, I can smell it. Oh yes, and over charcoal. That's just perfect. We're just about there. I'm gonna let that go for a couple more minutes. Okay, let's see how the fish is doing. Oh yeah, that's ready. I can smell it. Oh yeah, look at that. Now, be very careful. This is really hot. And I'm just gonna use a fork to kind of make sure it doesn't stick. The grills sometimes pick up the fish and we wanna, it doesn't matter if you if it doesn't come out perfect, because you can put it on the plate and it's, you're gonna eat it anyways. I'm gonna <clears throat> get ready for plating here. Okay, so. Take it and put it on the plate. I'm gonna flip this over, just like that. I'm gonna flip this one. We'll clean that up in a minute, doesn't matter. There we go. That's coming in like this. That doesn't matter, you're not gonna see that in a minute. 
Wow. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? We've got red fish with a coconut Thai sauce. I'm Steve Adams for Fishing the Flats. Sun peeking through the clouds, I love it. Just gonna, so I can see these sand holes. And hopefully one of these fish will be sitting in it. That wind is blowing. Good drift though with the, you know, you cover a lot of water this way. Same thing, certainly can cast far with the wind. Foil, oh. Look at the, there, there's a good one. Oh, look at the head shakes, nice. Oh man, this trout took me in the back here. Unbelievable. Come on, getting them back finally. Oh man, it's a snook, a snook, all right, on the flat, oh yeah. And I thought you were a nice big trout, but I'll take you. Come on. Oh yeah. Beauty. Look at this. A pleasant surprise. You never know. Oh yeah. Come on now. Open up. All right, I think I'm gonna be able to do it here. Now look at this. There you go. Nice snook on the flats. Out of a kayak, a Jackson baby. All right, let me get this hook out. You weren't gonna get off. No, not at all. One and the other. Right on that, whoop, oh, there he goes. Closed captioning has been provided to you by The Fin Shop, one-stop shopping for all your fishing needs. You won't want to miss next week as host Henry Wozchuk hunts down triple tail in open water. Then we bring you great striped bass action out of Montauk, New York. And we finish off with incredible fighting mutton snapper in the Bahamas. Fishing the Flats with host Henry Waschuk and Billy Clyde was brought to you in part by Andros Boatworks, built for those that demand quality. Butcher's Best by Mark Angelo Foods. Mirror Lure, turn on the bite anytime. Tie on a mirror lure. Ohiro Fishing, conquering the fishing world.